inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you, cause real women don't bitch, no, real women don't, 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 bitch. Hey, 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 thank you for joining me on the Real Women Don't Bitch podcast. This is your proud host, August Crenshaw, a.k.a. Mrs. Raw, Real and Relentless. I am the number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs because building mental muscle is necessary in order to implement successful business strategies. This show has been created for the woman who is not excuse driven and needs help building a profitable business. I will be interviewing women from various fields who are willing to break the silence on struggles that specifically affect female entrepreneurs. Welcome to a show where I and guest speakers from time to time share our methods that help us beast our business no matter what is going on in our lives. Whether you are an online or brick and mortar business owner, this show is for you. We will hit every angle, personal, professional, and spiritual. Why? Because on any given day, you get hit with shit from a scenario involving one, more, or perhaps all of the above. It all impacts you and your mindset towards your business. I have made it my personal mission to provide a space where we dive deep into the BS we face on a day-to-day basis. All right now, all right now, what it do, ski booski? how you guys doing? So, um, man, I've been in a pensive state this morning and I was actually just reflecting because I had a very intense powerful weekend and when I say intense I do really mean in all of the best ways possible I had a lot of work that I needed to get done and I collaborated with three awesome queens and we did some some goal setting some life changing activities and so I was just really blessed and excited that myself and some other women decided to go on a joint venture together And I was thinking about how important it is to keep sharing good news like that, because I know there's so many people that have thoughts like, you know, oh, with this pandemic still going and still being nervous about whether or not they're going to end up closing, you know, the country down again. And they were talking about a second stimulus and now they kind of got sat to the wayside and being worried about whether or not they'll run out of funds to continue to pay unemployment and so on and so forth. A lot of you still aren't thinking with the mind of success. You're thinking with the mind of hope, you know, and you've, you've got to continue to push forward, to move forward and to believe. Now, for some of you all, it's difficult right now because you didn't do what you were supposed to do before we got to this point. A lot of you, you were in business anywhere from one to five years before COVID hit. But when coaches like me were giving free advice and telling you to get out there and do live video, whether you like it or not, because establishing an online presence is important and doing it via video allows people the opportunity to get to know you and to like you and trust you faster than you writing down a script. You didn't do it. When we told you to post and to show up online and to put your feelings and stuff out there, you never really seemed to have time. When we told you to build that email list and put those freebies out there even if no one was saying yes you didn't do it and so now that things have gotten thick you've gotten scared because you know that honestly behind closed doors you really were not giving it your all and back then money was the excuse think about it money was the excuse back then you're like oh well I don't have this much money or my business isn't making as much or I'm also having if it wasn't the money it was a job you know I'm working the job and I'm having to figure out how I'm going to still have time to build my business there was excuse after excuse after excuse but somewhere there were queens who were saying even if I'm tired 
Even if I have to miss out on some brunches with the girls, or even if I can't go on every trip that everyone else is going on, I'm going to sit down and I'm going to bust my butt. Even if I don't feel like reading, I may even fall asleep on the book. I'm going to do it. Even though I prefer for that money to go somewhere else, I'm going to pay for the coaching. You did two things. You committed and then you put everything behind it and your actions to make sure that you got it done. And even when money was an issue, what did I used to tell you guys back then? Where you don't have the money, you must have the muscle. You have to have a level of muscle regardless in entrepreneurship. But there were times when I couldn't even afford for the coach. People don't like to hear you say, oh, don't say that. That means you have a poor money mindset. Well, when you just spent all of your money with coaches for programs that are thousands of dollars on top of flying out of town, buying hotel tickets and I mean, plane tickets and staying in hotels and spending your money and eating and rah, rah, rah and shish, boom, buying and meetings only for you to sign up and buy more stuff. And you ain't, you don't know how you're going to pay your rent. Because the only thing you was doing was going for that flu, flu, flower. I put it all on the line for my business. And then you didn't have any money at all. You really are broke. You really can't afford it. And no matter how hard you work, how hard you try, how hard you promote, you can't force anything to come to you. But you know what? When those days came for me, I put more muscle behind my business. When I didn't want to go live, I went live anyway. It got to the point that I became addicted to doing live videos. When people asked me anything, I found a way I used to manipulate the questions so I could end up talking about my business. For instance, I would be driving for Uber and somebody would be like, how are you enjoying this weather? I would be like, oh, it's okay. It's nothing like where I came from. Because I know that they're next. They're going to say, well, where'd you come from? Oh, I'm not originally from Houston. I'm from St. Louis. Well, what brought you to St. Louis? I decided to start my own business. Well, what kind of business did you start? Bam. And you know what would happen? People would start saying, oh, well, you know what? Are your books on Amazon? (laughs) Not in my trunk. Would you like to get one right now? You know, and I began to hustle. I made connections and contacts and I started going to the local meetups and meeting people who would then tell me to come to another meetup or a networking event. And then someone there would inquire about me. But even though they wouldn't work with me, somebody else decided that they would. Even when it was dark, very, very dark, I always pushed. And I'm going to be honest with you all. It's not as dark as it's going to get. And many of you really are not suffering right now. You just aren't living the way that you want to. There are some people that are some in some really dark places right now. But a lot of you between that stimulus, between that unemployment, between all of these courtesies that your companies extended to you to give you a chance to adjust through COVID. Many of you actually have more money and more opportunity now than you ever had. And even if it's not more money, you have more opportunity, more space and more room for creativity. But it's going to require you to put some heart in this. Entrepreneurship is not for the faint of heart. It's for the committed. It's for the visionaries. It's for the leaders. And for so long, so many of you kept on saying, oh, yeah, I'm a thought leader. I'm an influencer. Uh, I you said I see myself on stage. I know that I could do that same thing that she's doing. I deserve this. Well, guess what? Do the work and prove it. That's all I got to say. Yeah, that's all I got to say. Because I want to say that around 2017, when the very peak of my business began to hit, there were entrepreneurs that came aboard and that were working with me all the way throughout there. Some of them, you know, finished maybe 2018. Others went through 2019. But even the ones who were coming up through 2019 and even going through to the end that decided to be a beast about their business Once they came on the other side for two seconds, I think we all, even me with my confidence self, when this whole situation, wait a minute, what? Can't go to stores, shut the city down, WTF. And like, wait a minute, what's going on? COVID, huh? 5G, what what is all this stuff? Yeah, for even for two seconds, you guys, I was like, wait a minute. Okay, should we, should we not be going outside? Like, wait a minute, August, breathe. (sighs) Okay, let's look, let's pay attention to propaganda. Okay, let's, let's do some research. Okay, regardless of all of that, you know what the divine spoke to you. How does all of this fit into that? Stay focused and keep the main thing, the main thing and keep going. And I will side. 
And I'm just still sitting here in utter amazement and how opportunities keep coming to me. Blessings keep flowing to me. I mean, I'm talking about getting money and not having to work like people like, hey, guess what? This happened to me. What's your cash app? Uh huh. You surely can have it. And by the way, thank you for the blessing. And we talking to somebody who's been on their own with just her husband. It's been team Crenshaw's all the way through and through, especially as it pertains to, you know, uh, family support and financial support. We've been doing this by ourselves. But then, no, I get blessed and people are like, oh, yes, can I do this? People want to you know, surprise me and, and sign up for stuff, you know, at the at the last minute. I even had someone reach out to me and was like, hey, I noticed your website said that your event was sold out and my live event is sold out. But for this one person, because she went through something very traumatic that hit simultaneously when COVID hit, she didn't never she never made her payment and had to withdraw. And for her, I said, we can make room for one more person. And I let her in, you know, so you guys. There are people that are being blessed just like you, okay? So don't stop. Keep pushing, all right? I love you. Thank you for joining me today. Remember to cultivate a mindset that is biased towards taking action. No bitching, whining, or complaining. Here our mantra is, real women don't bitch, we get shit done. See you next week as I continue to bring you what you need to keep your head in the game and beast your business. Don't forget to hit subscribe and leave us a five-star review. Would you like a specific topic covered? Have a question you would like answered live? Then head on over to realwomendon'tbitchpodcast.com. Subscribe to my email list. Hit me up and I got you. Interested in being a guest speaker? You walk the walk? Then you can sign up on the website too. This is your number one advanced mental conditioning specialist for entrepreneurs, Mrs. Raw, Real, and Relentless, signing out. Deuces! Inspire, empower, grab your girls and soar a little higher, unlock the fire in you.